So we are done set up our basic profile. Next, we want to start adding products. Before jumping the product, let's click on dashboard. And right here, you'll notice it's a, in a dashboard. You have it, your basic setup that we already kind of set. So we have it United States, which we want to add um, set up directly US Bank. If you're using different countries that does not support, for example, Ukraine, it will switch to the PayPal. So you can adjust this stuff. But again, uh, for us, because I'm using in the United States, we'll just select this and out of we can modify with our bank account. So also categories we did before photography. And one thing I would recommend for you to subscribe to emails. Okay, let's go ahead, click continue and it's save it. So now it is again, go step by step. We already kind of done with our profile, but if you did this, you can click and share or you also can look on additional tips to how to grow your audience. So let's go ahead, click on this, and this will take us to articles to create. Well, I'm going back right now. And notice we don't have any followers, so we don't worry about this. We'll go now to the product. So as an add product, we can create a digital one or we can have it physical. So if you have a t-shirt, this way with physical will include shipping cost and additional elements related to this. So for now, we are more interested to sell our digital product. So for this, let's go click on digital product and notice we have it very nice categories that some of the service not provided, for example, as subscription. When you can, people can subscribe to you and every month, whatever release, they will be notified and they'll get it those products from subscription. So we're going just simple right now, one single product. So notice right there, we have our product and now we'll add elements. So let's go and say it is um, my first product. I don't think anybody will buy this, but we'll just put this name. Okay, as a price, you can set any price you wanted, but be realistic. And notice it is right here already showing dollars, yen, so we can go in different type of the money. And then let's circulate back to dollars. Okay, I want sale for this, uh, for the price. And one thing I do recommend from experience, uh, try if you have it five, dollars you think it's changed sell for 495 i know it is price but as a mental things i notice people will likely buy product for 495 because they think it's four dollars they will be mentally taking down price instead if you put it five dollars they say oh it's five dollars so usually just take a little bit down five cents and it will look better so now we have to choose our files notice what we have here we have it from computer if you already have your existence pack, so you can create a different packs from different, you already preloaded files or a link from Dropbox. Almost every time when I sell, I actually link from my Dropbox. So I take my images or I take my stuff that I'm sell, the presets, tutorials, other things, upload them on a Dropbox in my area as a backup. And also I click and select from the Dropbox. So it will upload it direct link from there. For this tutorial, we'll just click and select from the computer. And I'm just going to select some of the image as a test. So it will upload it. Notice when it's finished uploading, processing, depend on the size of the file and where it's taking. It may take a little bit time. So if you're uploading from Dropbox, give it a little bit of time. I notice it's take a little bit of time till it's synchronized, till it's taking from server to server. So don't rush it, just leave it there and it's actually will process. And when it's done, you'll see the start appearing right, like right here, ready. If you have it more than one, then you can change order of them as well. So, but for now, let's go just leave it one. We have my product. Let's go customize next. In our customizations, you will notice we have it our image and we can upload it more than one image, which we'll look in a second. And also we still have it our name that we can modify and we have it our descriptions that we can add. So let's go ahead and add descriptions. OK, 
Okay, so we add it here. If we want it, we can add more files. And if you notice on the bottom, we already have it a little bit linked to our product. Notice we also limited product sales. And these we can say how many products you want to sell. That can be useful if you produce a limited amount of tutorials or videos or digital. Remember, this is to the digital. The physical product have a little bit different screen. Okay, so let's go close this one and let's upload it some image or preview. And as we're uploading, I will give you a few tips about um, what size and how to preview them as well. Okay, so right here I have it some image I created for my other products. And you know what? Let's go just select one. And it's kind of look okay when it's uploading here. Let's wait a second. So you'll notice it's look all up. Let's go upload it second image. Okay, take a little bit time to upload it. And you also can upload it videos, maybe like presentation a little bit. But again, beware all of this take time. And you notice on the bottom we have it two different images. Okay, they look good kind of here. But what's happening when you look on this product with the front end from the um, gum road? So for this, let me open a new tab and going in my other store that my official store notice right here what's happening with these images when i did not know it's cutting them off so it does not necessarily it's cut names and everything when i learned this well i did a lot of them uploaded some of them okay but after time when i learned how to do so i created more with the image that notice it will be cut on a side and one thing i wish it was kind of showing for me here but we also can go click view on external website up a link from different so we don't need this one but i wish it was showing me right here how it will cut and display in a store but just let you know you notice it is a square so it's a square product a square image and it's meaning if it's take this it will probably cut off and maybe just leave it just advanced here just keep it this in mind again the image you're uploading, it will be square and not what you preview here. Okay, overall, you can upload it multiple images at the same time. We have it done, we uploaded our files, all good. So let's go ahead, uh, click Save Changes at this point. Don't worry, product still not yet published because we not yet click Publish it and it's in edit mode. So let's go click on Options. And uh, with Options, you have it up, um, Variants, you can add format, color, sizes, maybe if you do print, sale, or other digitals. Also, discounts if you applied. And I do add sometimes free discounts. So if you add, you'll notice right here it will generate key. You can generate your own key if you want it. You also can apply this coupon for all products to the store, or if you don't check, it will be just for this product where you're putting. And you can have it in a dollars. If you click, it will switch to the percent. So you can also sell, give it for free. For example, 10 first items. Or you can say, I want it from my price because it's a $4.95. I want, for example, $3 off. So on this here it's showing on the bottom $1.95 will be after discount, which is kind of nice. Um, it give you a tip what to do. So when you add, let's go save, oops, right here, save our changes. So it's a save our discount. As of you save, you have the share button, which is you notice it will provide with a coupon and URL link so you can share with other people. Uh, sometimes I do create as a preview Free, so I can provide to my other uh, supports on Patreon or other ones you can create or provide this way. So after product is created, you also can share. Notice right here it is not published, so you cannot um, sell. So let's go ahead. Before publish, click preview. This is my product. And this is full page for the product. But remember what I said before, um, be sure this image when you give it on a page, it will cut like square. So this is will apply this important information or image in this middle area. Okay, let's go back to edit from our publish and we'll go click publishing. So 
done. Now our product is available for people to purchase. Notice we have now our Twitter share so we can or copy, we can share our product and places. If you link your Facebook, you can share directly from there. We also have additional elements that we can create HTML button, put it on your website if you have it, or maybe in your blog. Also, um, you can provide with embedding and embedding. Um, let me show how it's so right here. Example, my Geek at Play website um, where I sell those tutorials and you notice right here, I have many, many multiple tutorials, sometimes maybe too much. And this right here, the button it will add as embedded to your website. So if I click buy, this is open this page you saw before with all descriptions. So I can click add to the cart and my cart is display on the side. So I can go click pay and fill up my information. So this is how embedded work. You can also nicely embed inside the products. So, okay, let's go, for example, to this page. Okay, right here, tutorials, if people want Notice I have an additional button, buy button on different language. So same, you can add additional. Now you have a two items and it's a display with all information. So you can pay with PayPal, card, and all the other stuff. And when you process, this is embedded in your website. It's going to embed it to um, Facebook, if I'm right, to the blog and other areas. So this is embedded from your store. And right here, this information that you will see as it's embedded. So, okay, let's go back to our product. So we have our information, our button HTML, and overall you can just start copying your URL. Okay, let's go open new. We'll go paste, open. And here you go, here's our first product that we just created and it's ready for sale. So if people want it, they just click purchase fill up information and click pay. And then now you start selling your digital product. There also after this, let's go look on the, um, how you can upkeep, update and customization for the customers to notify them on up the updates or any other information.